guys what's up in this video i am super excited to talk about figma make now we have been talking about figma as a design solution but now that ai is so much advanced and so popularly used i think we can use ai to do a lot of new things now so as an example if you want to create a figma make file you can just go to the create drop down if you're in a folder or just click on the tab new tab at the top and you're going to get this make option now what this make allows you to do it allows you to generate real websites or more importantly applications using ai and it's really easy to use you don't have to use cursor you don't have to set up a Git, github repository or anything along those lines you can easily go ahead and create really awesome stuff and potentially even make money off it if you actually get good at it so let's just have an example so i'm using uh, just chat gpt to generate some simple prompts about a particular application that i can feed with figma make and i'm going to go ahead and generate an appointment and booking system for salons so let's just go ahead and copy this whole prompt with all of the features this is actually the prompt so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this whole thing and i'm just going to go ahead and paste this directly in figma make now before i actually do that i do want to point out that you can attach a design as well you can add connectors to like for example some other um, applications if you want to do that but i don't think that's important right now it's also not important to upload images uh, to do that. If you want to give it some suggestions, like for example, follow these styles, follow this particular aesthetic, you can go ahead and do that and attach a design as well. But for now, we're just going to be really simple and just go ahead and actually paste the prompt I generated with ChatGPT. Now we have a few options. This is going to be your left-hand sidebar, which is interactive. So you can go ahead and actually keep on communicating with Figma, uh, with Figma Make here. You have two tabs here at the top, which is the preview tab and the code tab. This allows you to go and check out the code. For most designers, you don't even have to go to the code tab. You have the option to view things responsively. You have the option to open the console to see any errors, to refresh the page, so on and so forth. And then you have some options at the top. But for now, we're just going to wait for it to generate the SaaS application. And then we're going to come back to it. So now, as you can see, it's done. I just added a sim simple prompt for, to update all of the images to be men instead of women because um, I'm a Muslim and as a Muslim, I can't really showcase images of women unnecessarily if they're not covered. So we have something like this, for example, it created the dashboard, it created the calendar page, it created customers, it created services, stylists. Now, what you can do with, for example, Figma Make is you can ask it to, for, for example, if you're working with a client to just generate this particular interactive UI, a person can create a new booking. They can choose, okay, I want to go ahead and choose haircut and style. I want to go next. I want to choose this particular stylist. I want to go ahead and pick a time. Now, can you actually imagine all of this is actually working and I can enter my name, like my name is Asad and Asad at test.com and then phone number, whatever it is. And let's just go ahead and actually confirm the booking and the booking is booked and that's pretty much it. Now, obviously I haven't really integrated the backend and stuff along those lines. So the booking may not actually show up here, but you can easily connect it to the backend as well. If you actually go and go to the settings here, if you go to settings, you can actually connect it to Superbase. And we're going to probably explore that in a separate video, which is going to allow you to create a backend for your system. But once you're done with that, you can just quickly go ahead and actually publish it and click on publish. If you want to name it something, you can go ahead and name it, whatever. And it's just going to be published for you and your client to see. And then you can play around with things. You can say, hey, I don't like the UI. Now, one thing that I do want to point out, this application or Figma Make shouldn't really be used for UI work. This is more to figure out a boilerplate or a starting point for your application. So you can give it a, a PRD, you can give it a really big document, say that I wanna create an application like this, go ahead and actually give me the flows, you can improve the flows, you can do all of that stuff. A few other things that I would like to highlight is that you can actually go ahead and click this button on the top right. And what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to copy the screen as a particular element and you can just paste it like for example i can come here and i can paste it and all of that is going to be auto layout and properly designed using grids and stuff along those lines and it's just amazing so i think it's a really nice way of doing things additionally um, a few things that i do want to point out is i can attach designs to it i can attach images to it and if something is is not working like for example i don't like this new booking link here i want to move it to the top right i can easily just ask it to do it and an easy way to do it is just for example, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. 
just go and click this particular arrow, choose the button that you want to move. And I can say, hey, move this button into the header. And it's going to understand that and it's going to move it. So I'm just going to ask it to do that. And since I selected that particular button, it's really easy to make these changes. Ideally, it would even be better if I can just go ahead and actually play with it um, as a as a Figma design and I can just click on that and move it here. But obviously that doesn't work. Yes, so it's asking me, hey, do you want me to proceed in moving the button into the header? And I'm gonna say, yes, please go ahead and do that. And then it's gonna go ahead and actually do that. <clears throat> and one other thing that I was talking about is when you do go ahead and actually publish it, it is going to be published. So you can share the link with your clients. They can start interacting with it. They can start playing with it. And you can finalize a complete flow before even going to the design board with Figma. So I actually have all of the screens confirmed. I have the design confirmed. I have the flow confirmed. And then I go into Figma to polish the UI to make it actually look really polished because this is pretty basic, right? And I mentioned, hey, move the new booking button to the top header. And it's really easy to do that. Now, a few other things that I would like to highlight when you're actually building uh, or using this tool is you already have a lot of capability with directly editing things. Like for example, if I go here, I wanna choose how much padding th this particular section has. I can directly control that. From the top, maybe I just need 16 pixel padding here, 16 here, and it's gonna do that automatically and I don't have to do anything major. I can actually go ahead and control, let's say other things. I can click on this particular element and I can directly click on the code part and it's gonna take me directly to code. So I'm gonna say, hey, I don't want the images to be that big or maybe the gap should be reduced and I can directly reduce it from here as well and just save it. And if I go to preview, this particular gap should be reduced, hopefully. Let's just see if it actually is reduced here. So I'm not sure which gap I reduced, but that's just an example of that. Now, a few other things that you can do. If you want to go ahead and actually import your designs, like for example, um, I'm going to go to align UI. This is a UI that I have bought and I really like how neat and clean the sidebar elements are, right? So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to press command C. I'm going to go to my SAS and I'm going to say I want to attach a design and I'm going to come here and just press command V. So it's going to copy that particular frame and I am also going to select this sidebar and I'm going to say make the sidebar visually consistent with the design file but keep the text and content the same as it currently is. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to ask it to do that and let's see what it actually does. So as you can see, it has it is referencing the aside, which is the sidebar, and it is also referencing my design system. So it's gonna see, okay, what differences do I see in my actual implementation and the actual uh, design that I've sent it, like the aside design. Now, what a lot of people don't really understand is, again, I would not expect you to work on UI like this, the way that I'm doing right now. I mean, I can easily go ahead and actually take this design directly to Figma and then improve it. The purpose of Figma Make is not about designing a complete application and UI and everything along those lines just by that. But as you can see, it went ahead and did that. How freaking beautiful is this? It went ahead and used pretty much exactly one-to-one -one styles that I have here, if I'm not mistaken, and my sidebar is updated. Obviously, it's gonna do a good job because it has those two references. And imagine doing all of these UI updates directly using a particular design maybe you've created in the back and just asking Figma Make to just follow the design aesthetics that you have in your design system. And it can just do that. I don't really, as I mentioned, I don't really want you to do all of this UI work here. This is more for UX exploration. So if you can do that, then it's amazing. Uh, if you don't wanna do that, if you just wanna use this for a UX flow, that's amazing too, which is amazing. Now, this is just one example of what you can do with client work, but there's another example that I wanna share, which perhaps could allow you to make a lot of money. Now, for example, we have another <clears throat> application idea, like give me a prompt for a geometric pattern generator with lots of controls and the ability to download the pattern. And here's the prompt that I generated. Now, just imagine that this is the prompt. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open up a new Figma make file, and I'm just going to paste this prompt verbatim. So I'm just going to go ahead and press enter and let's just see what it generates. Now you know that there are a lot of geometric pattern generators out there. You don't even have to make it paid to earn a lot of money. Imagine you just buy a domain. You basically go ahead and ask Figma make to do something like this. 
if you want to connect it to Superbase, you can. But even if you upload it for free, you can actually make a lot of money with Google ads and a lot of people just coming to your particular site. You can even have sponsorships and stuff along those lines. But let's just see if people are even going to use this and if this is really interesting to begin with. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it actually went ahead and generated something like this. And I think it looks good. So it has a bunch of pattern variations directly at the top. So we have grid, we have waves, we have circles, we have triangles, we have hexagons, we have all of this stuff. And now people are going to be like, hey, this looks ugly. How, why is anyone going to use this? Well, it doesn't necessarily need to be ugly. I ideally want the space size to go lower than 10. So I want the space, the shape size to go lower than 10 like up to one pixels and i want the background to support gradients while let's say i'm actually exporting something like this i think gradients are going to help in the meantime we can actually check out let's say presets so we have a bunch of awesome presets here we have our gallery here as well we have settings here as well we can choose the canvas size the export quality the default colors imagine just throwing this out there after making a few tweaks, obviously I'm not going to make all of these tweaks directly in this Figma make video, but imagine if you do that, you make a bunch of tweaks and you just post it. You just publish it as a, a tool that a person can use for free. And I don't know why people wouldn't really come to it, especially if you make it compelling. Okay. So I think it should pretty much be done. I can reduce it to actually it, it isn't done. It's going ahead and updating that. So if I go ahead and reduce it, I can see now it's reducing to one pixels. And this is exactly what patterns usually look like and they look insane. Let's go to the background. Is the background, okay, there's an option for a gradient and I have my gradient angle. I have two colors here. And obviously we can add multiple support for different types of gradients. And now just tell me, doesn't this gradient actually, or doesn't this background actually start looking good already? Imagine if I have something like this. I think it's looking good already. I can download this even in SVG. Man, this has got to be insane. SVG export is coming soon. So at the very least, it didn't really allow me to do that. Okay. So if we go here to our, let's say design file, let's just import it and see if it looks good. Man, this looks amazing. I honestly think like there's a lot of potential for people to start making money right now using Figma Make. And I just don't know what you're doing, whether it's client work, whether it's just like buying really cheap domains and publishing stuff like this for free, just so you can earn with Google ads or you can earn with sponsor sponsorships or even just promote your own separate products that are paid just using free products. Like I feel like it's insane or even build your cold emailing list. This is amazing stuff. I hope you can see the potential that you can achieve with tools like this. I think it's amazing. Don't just treat this as a simple video. Treat this as a push for you to start putting your actual work out there and start earning money. So go ahead and do that and add the links in the comments as well. Because if you actually post that in this YouTube video, people are going to check them out, post them on your Twitter or your X account as well, post them on LinkedIn, post the video on LinkedIn as well. Just go ahead and do that. Start making an impact and start earning money.